The purpose of the arch section tab is to create a panoramic image for tracing the inferior alveolar nerve in mandibular implant cases and generating good cross sections for making accurate measurements. As you can see, here is the axial view of the scan. The section below is the pano. This pano is currently in the slice mode and may look different than the typical x-ray pano that you are more familiar with. In order to trace the nerve, the pano will need to be in slice mode to be 3D. On the right are cross sections that correspond to the three green lines in the axial view and the green line in the pano view. As I move the green lines, the cross sections will update according to where I am along the arch spline. I will now show you the workflow for creating an arch spline and tracing the nerve. First, check the range and orientation of the pano. For some cases, you may not see the full dental arch and may want to include the TMJ and the mandible. Click Adjust Range and Orientation and adjust the upper and lower limits according to your preference. You may also want to adjust the scan so that the occlusal plane is leveled horizontally. Once you have finished with the adjustments, click on the check marked box to return to the previous window. As you can see, Invivo provides an initial arch spline based on density. Since all patients are different, their arch spline may need adjustment. You can create a new arch spline by clicking Create Arch Spline. You may need to click the button twice. Click New. Scroll through the axial cross sections until you see the condyle. Place the first point behind the condyle and the other points along the mandible. If the nerve canal is visible, you can use it as a reference to place the points. We recommend placing five to seven points to generate the arch spline. After placing the last point, right click to finish. You can adjust the arch spline by moving the points to better display the nerve canal. Next, to trace the nerve, click New Nerve. Use the panel to place points along the nerve canal. Before placing the second to last point, move the green lines to the mental foramen by referring to the cross sections. On the cross section, place the second to last point on the inside and the last point on the outside for the nerve to exit. Right click to finish. As you can see, here is the nerve we have just traced. With the nerve already selected, you can modify the nerve by clicking modify. You can select a particular node to change its diameter, delete, or adjust its position. Additionally, you can set the diameter for the entire nerve. Click Done when you are finished with your modifications. The Arch Section tab can also be used to view anatomy in multiple cross sections traversing the dental arch. To do so, first check that the arch spline is parallel to the arch at the area of interest and adjust if necessary. The arch spline does need some adjustment to be aligned with the dental arch for this implant site. The green lines should now be perpendicular to the arch, which ensures the cross sections are buccolingual. This is crucial to display an accurate amount of bone and avoid oblique slicing. Using the cross sections, we can make measurements with the measurement tool, such as measuring the distance from the implant to the nerve. Additionally, we have options to modify the cross sections with these parameters here. If you have any unanswered questions, or if you would like additional information, consult the InVivo Reference Manual. If you do not have a copy of the manual, or still have questions, contact Cabo Dental Imaging Technical Support by calling 866-528-7000.
6537.